Well, welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. Very interesting case today. Um, young gentleman who presented several months ago after he sustained uh, trauma to his left foot playing soccer. Uh, the patient has a, a very flat foot and people with flat feet, some people may have an accessory bone. It's congenital, you're born with it. Um, either, usually it's bilateral, both the left and the right foot. Um, <clears throat> and just to show everyone, this is what I mean. So this is the, the navicular, okay, the navicular. And in people with flat feet, we have something called a gorilloid navicular. Um, it's a very important bone um, that plays a major role in people with flat feet. It's also a very important bone in the medial column of the foot. I'm just going to show you guys, just for comparison purposes, what the good one looks like, right? This is actually the, you know, that's why they call it gorilloid. It's like ginormous, right? It looks like a gorilla. And plus, this is the, the little accessory navicular. But sometimes, um, in this particular case, trauma, uh, the contributory factor, you can get inflammation. You can get inflammation. Uh, of the navicular, right, the navicular proper, the bone, and that little accessory little bone, and that's called an, uh, an accessory uh, navicular syndrome. Going back to his traumatic injury, he really had a bad injury, um, and then again, looking at the, as, as some, are, some people may or may not see, the one on the symptomatic one, right, the, the one that really hurts him the most, is significantly larger as well. Let me show you guys, right? It's, it's definitely larger. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, he's definitely better. We did already uh, a fluoroscopic guided uh, PRP injection. We immobilized him with cast, you know, with a cast and a cam walker and physical therapy. So it's been a couple of months. He's still a little bit symptomatic. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, and we did order an MRI just to confirm that it is what it is and there's nothing else that is hindering his ability to heal this. So what we're gonna go ahead and do today is repeat a second PRP injection to continue our efforts to maximize improvement and minimize any long-term complications. I hope I haven't confused anyone. Um, so with that said, let's proceed. So we've already isolated uh, the PRP, okay is right here okay so we're gonna go ahead now and and proceed I always tell the patient as people always know PRP could be a little bit uncomfortable so I always tell the patient hey, if you feel anything just let us know and uh, the most important thing in this procedure is for everyone to look at the screen that's exactly what we need to do okay uh, we have again we're using a machine called a fluoroscope and and we're able to uh, and we're able to actually go live just like that. And everyone can see I'm moving the needle. And I've already marked the spot where I'd like to go in right there. Okay. Ahí vamos. ¿Sientes algo aquí? Okay. We're just trying to find that right spot. So right now I can feel that I'm inside definitely inside that little area right there's a space and I want to be inside the space between this bone the navicular and the accessory and there's a lot of inflammation here and that's the problem Os naviculari or navicular syndrome so now we're going to start infiltrating slowly si siente algo por favor dime okay Dolor? No. Dolor? No. Dolor? Un poquito. Ahora 
así, 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 no me acuerdo. Au. ¿Y ahora? Au. Sí. Let me just do this a second. Just keep that camera right on that screen. ¿Y ahora? Going a little bit in there. I'm moving the needle very, very slowly, as everyone can see. Y ya terminamos. Okay, so we're all done. <clears throat> so just to recap, what we did today, young gentleman, 20. 29 years old, extremely, extremely avid athlete. Um, we did a fluoroscopic guided platelet-rich plasma injection in into this little space between a very important bone called the navicular. We see it a lot in people with flat feet. He's doing better, but obviously we want to avoid the knife, and this is the reason why we are repeating this again today.